Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I have my next update for my chopping block series. This series I've been going through my collection and trying to pick out items that I'm kind of unsure about or haven't used in a really long time. Give them a, a fair shot and then and then see if I can declutter them. Full warning today, this little one right here playing beside me has learned to scream this past week, but we're gonna try to film anyways. So why don't we go ahead and get into it. All right, as we get started, I have five items to go over from the last update that I picked out to try out, and then I have five new ones to introduce this week. Uh, spoiler alert, I'm getting rid of four items. I'm really, really proud of myself. I think as we go along, I get more and more comfortable with the idea of decluttering, and so I'm picking out items in my collection that I'm pretty sure I don't remember loving and then I'm trying to make myself really like challenge that idea and if I don't find myself really enjoying them then I let them go. So the Smashbox CC Cream here is a foundation that is probably one of the older products in my collection that has S like a functional SPF that I would use. It has 30 SPF in it and I wanted to give myself like the the chance to use it and say do i really like this because if i do i really need to push myself to use it up now so if i'm not willing to kind of use it up now then the spf is going to go off or probably has already gone off and it's just time for it to go and i have to admit like i'm not really loving it it's thicker than like some of my other um cc creams and like little tinted moisturizers that have um foundation in them i just put a really small amount on the back of my hand but I find that it looks a little thick doesn't feel that comfortable and I'm just not really impressed with it not I'm not comfortable using it all up so this one is going to be another foundation that I declutter out of my collection through this project next up I have an item that I'm keeping this is a concealer from the ordinary I don't love this to conceal my under eyes but I find that it's a pretty dang good like eye primer um, and I tend to I need like a good coverage kind of product to prime my eyes because I have a lot of like darkness especially in my inner corners so this is one that I'm definitely going to keep I also have another shade this is shade light I have the shade fair I think too um, I'm definitely going to keep both of them for like I'll eventually use them up I wouldn't repurchase but they're not bad products so I'm gonna keep them uh three more items here all lip products well one of them is technically a lip product but it, i was using it as a blush this is from the ulta beauty line and it is the shade milan and i wanted to give myself a chance to use it as a blush it is pretty pigmented but i find that you know i have berry blushes in my collection i really am on the hunt for a blush that's like very 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 cool tone if you have any suggestions for me leave them in in the comment section but i really want like a really baby hot, uh, hot like not a hot pink a baby pink very cool toned almost purple i don't know I, i'm looking for something very specific and i don't i don't i have no clue where to find it at but this guy i feel like i have in my collection and i'm not likely to reach for exactly not likely to reach for this when i want a berry shade i'm likely to reach for <laughs> my powder blushes exactly and you know what i'll go ahead and talk about these together they're not i don't wear them together but they're both going uh this is a nyx uh liquid lipstick i like the color i just i just don't wear it i'm just not going to wear it um if i want a hot pink i tend to reach for another one in my collection and they're very similar so i don't really love this like matte or like liquid lipstick formula anymore so i'm gonna get, let that one go and then this here is kind of like a chapstick but it has a little bit of a tint to it you're not even gonna be able to see it uh again just something that i don't like reach for and i don't like the smell of it i know that's really weird i don't know it just makes me it gives me like old lady makeup vibes so definitely letting that go now let's go ahead and go into the five items that i'm going to be testing out over the next month or so and see what i'm going to like really put through the ringer here first up i have another foundation this is a foundation that i bought a long long time ago at like a tj maxx or something like that uh from stila in the shade light and I just don't remember, like, I need to clean that off. That's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't remember being impressed by it. I like the packaging, I think, more. I think the, the packaging is fun more than I remember liking the product. So I need to give myself a shot with it. I also don't remember. It looks a little dark for my, like, fair skin. Maybe not. Maybe not. I need to give it a chance um, and see how I feel about it. And, yeah, that's enough for that one. Item number two, I have an e.l.f. eyebrow kit in the shade light. Why would I ever buy the shade light in the past? I don't know. I don't, I really don't know. My, my eyebrows are in fact light and maybe I was trying to match my 
it doesn't make any sense to me. However, I know I don't like this like dark pomade here. Yeah, not for me. Maybe for you. Not for me. Uh, and so I wanted to try to give myself a chance to figure out if I'm going to use this like powder here. Uh, I think I could probably use it as a contour powder. I feel like I've done that in the past and I don't remember how I felt about it. So if I like it as a contour powder, I'll use it up. If not, I'm gonna let it go. Next up is an eyeshadow from NYX, but I actually use it as a blush. Um, it's been in my blush inventory for a long time. It's in the shade Golden Peach, and again, it's kind of like a peachy, corally shade, and it has like a slight golden sheen to it. Not a glitter, but like an actual slight golden sheen to it. Really pretty, but I have a feeling that if I go and swatch my blush collection, that I'm going to find that I have probably about 20 of these shades in there so I wanted to give myself a chance to do that I have hit paint on it in a past in a past project because I was using it as a blush and it took a long time so it's one of those things where if I if I find that I have a lot of those shades similar and I'm not going to reach for it I know I'm not going to use this up so I why am I holding on to it so that one's number three Items number four and five for me are going to be lip products I have a ton of lip products and I really probably should pare them down at some point. Uh, first up, I'll go over this Bite Beauty one. Bite Beauty, as we know, is going out of business and it's just kind of like, I'm realizing now that I have a lot of Bite products. I really enjoy their products, like their lip products especially. I think that's all I have from them. But um, I, you know, if they're not gonna be around and I'm not gonna use them, what's the point? I need to like make sure that what's in my collection are things that I actually wanna use. So a lot of these like lip crayons, I remember liking the color up, that's why I had them. But I don't remember if the formula is like worth me keeping, especially for something so like colorful. So I, I let go of another, another bite lip crayon like this in a pink shade um, but I wanted to give myself a chance to wear this red one here I love a red I love a red and it's a very unique shade of red I feel like it'll be really nice going into fall and um, so I wanted to kind of give myself a chance to swatch my other reds in my collection if it's something like I feel I feel like it's easier to let go of a pink than a red to keep it short and sum it up um, I'm gonna really make myself wear this and if I don't find myself really drawn to it or find that it's super unique, I need to let it go. And then the last thing here is a Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean lipstick and lip gloss duo. The lipstick here is in the shade Trident. It's a very like peachy nude shade. I don't know if I've maybe worn it just a couple times. I feel like it's a little light for me. So I definitely will need to try this out with a lip, lip liner. I'm not sure if I'm really like I'm, this these days, I'm really into like balmy lips products or like lip glosses so I really need to figure out if this like thicker lipstick is going to drive me nuts or not now the gloss I feel like I'll, I will like and then if it's one of those things where I find myself only liking one side of it I need to try to make myself like use the gloss up and then like declutter the rest of it because it's just not worth having like products around that I'm not going to use um, I'm a broken record today, but this is what the gloss looks like. A little bit more pigmented than I think I'm used to. Um, right there. Maybe not coming across on camera more pigmented, but trust me, I just put on some gloss and it was very thin. Uh, but yeah, these I haven't really used in a really, really long time. And let's be honest, we all know that this collection is super old. So... It doesn't smell bad, it still smells good. So I need to figure out if this is a keeper too. And that is everything for today's video. Make sure you say hello in the comments and I will see you in the next one.